Hi, Mrs. King here, the Friendly Librarian. One of the reasons why I set up the Teen Library is because it offers kids interesting stories that speak to their real life experiences. This Teen Library is based on young adult fiction, realistic in fact, that sets the pace and the tone of the contemporary world. As a teen, you often ask who I am and what is my place in the world. So I set up this library so that you could find books that resonate with topics in your life. For example, we have bullying, we have books on social media, we have books on LGTB because a lot of you have questions that you need answered. We have books on eating disorders and books on mental illness and depression. These are all relevant topics to you and you can find the answers and you can find more questions and more answers by checking these out. Often in these books they'll find characters that resemble themselves, their friends, or even their enemies. An example are these two books on social media. This one has to do with using Facebook and being catfished and bullied, and this one also has to use YouTube and being bullied on it. Hi Lindsay, can you tell me what you like about the Teen Library? What I like about the Teen Library is that it helps me understand better of life situation. I love the friendship books. Okay. As a teen, I go through a lot of friendships, like every day, and reading the friendship books helps me understand why I'm not their friend anymore and helps me understand, you know, that there will be other people there for me other than that just one person. Friendships will come and go in middle school and high school. Learn how to survive it and take control of your life and not give in to the peer pressure. Remember, you can stay in control of who you're friends with. But check out some of these stories and find out how these friends dealt with each other. Friends can come in all sizes, shapes, sexes, and colors. So check out these books if you have any questions. Other issues that many of our urban kids find that are hard to deal with are being homeless or foster children. If you have some of these problems or your friends are, then these books might help you to let them know they're not alone. Research shows that one out of two marriages ends in divorce. Therefore, there are many step families out there due to divorce. Your family isn't the only one, so these books will help you know that there are others out there dealing with the same issues. One of the main things I hear from teenagers is, my mom just doesn't get me. My sister is a pain. Well, here are books on parent relationships and many other books, and so maybe you can see your family in this book and understand they're not as weird as you think they are. In many neighborhoods, there's a problem with gangs, but you have to remember, it doesn't have to be this way. And there are books and information to let you know that things can be different. One of the largest sections we have is on drug addiction and drugs, a very common problem nowadays. But when you check these books out, you're supposed to be looking for the answers to find out what the repercussions are from using, not to look in them and find out a better way to get high. Dating, teen love, is on the minds of a lot of young ladies in middle school, but you need to know that violence should never be part of your love story. Pressure to do things should not be part of your story either. If you're not comfortable with something, then it is okay to say no to being a teen mom or a teen dad. You need to understand how you get that way and know how to cope with the emotions. Bibliotherapy is a term used to find a book to solve a personal problem in your life. So one of the best ways that I can help you is to find a book that will solve your problem. So check out the Teen Library and see if you can find a book that relates to you.